Hello everyone, my name is Eric and I punch demons. Today's video was one I was debating for a while and I didn't know exactly how to approach the subject. As you can see by the title, this is going to come with a couple disclaimers. The first disclaimer is I am not a medical professional. I will never be a medical professional. So that being said, all of this is really conjecture and just my experiences. Something else that should be mentioned is that a lot of the information that I'm about to provide is going to be provided from medical professionals that have seen me personally. So if any advice is given throughout the duration of what I'm saying, this is really just applies to me, but ed mileage may vary depending on the person. So earlier last month, I want to say, or earlier in the month of, month of July, 2019, I was having abdominal pain and it was happening quite regularly. I didn't know what was causing it. And at the time I was doing something called intermittent fasting. You may know this as a current diet trend and it does work for lack of a better term. In fact, I was actually able to go from 415 pounds to 315 pounds to about 330. So I lost over a, so I lost almost a hundred pounds in around a year's time from before that. However, the abdominal pains would vary in length of time and the abdominal pains would also vary in severity. This ended up culminating in one day just having so much pain at work I couldn't even complete a full shift. My dad ended up trying to help me buying some antacids and other forms of things because I just figured I might have eaten too much. Uh, one of the things I did notice, especially with the form of intermittent fasting I was doing, is that if you ate too much, you would have severe stomach pains. So you really should avoid it. And I was doing something at the time called OMAD, O-M-A-D, which is short for one meal a day. And what that would be is you would eat your entire calories over the course of an hour or two. And that's it. That's all you ate for the day. Well, I ended up having gallstones and I actually ended up having my gallbladder removed and when I went to the ER it was funny because I was thinking to myself okay so I have gallstones I'm going to need to have them remo removed I'll just go ahead and make the appointment that doctor came in and said we have to operate on you tonight and that I would be having four to five days in the hospital so I spent three days in recovery and they had to put me under again due to a complication of my bile duct being closed. And this all just happened over the course of, of, of a week. And it was really interesting. And, you know, I am a heavier set person. So obviously there's going to be and i can hear some of some of those keyboards typing right now oh well it's because of your poor diet choices and you you you're partially right i made a lot of poor diet choices in my time and i'm not going to shy away from that however speaking with the doctor that was in charge of the surgery i had asked what is a good cause of this i know i was doing omad and while i wasn't strictly trying to have one of those high fat diets that are also currently possible i did increase my fat intake and try to lower my carb intake and he said pretty much well did you lose weight oh i see a lot from what i saw this is common in someone that's lost a lot of weight and i said well i have dropped from 415 to 315 pounds and that was as of last year, which can be double checked by my PCP. He's like, well, that's amazing. You should be proud of that. But that's most likely what caused it. It turns out rapid weight loss combined with a high caloric meal diet. So when I say a high caloric meal diet, I don't mean like all of my meals are high calories. 
I mean not spreading my calories out throughout the day, actually contributed to me developing gallstones. Now that's not to say that the intermittent fasting alone caused the gallstones because there's no solid research as to what the adverse effects are as well to there's no research as to what the adverse effects are to intermittent fasting as there's a lot of positive results there's also potentially some negative results and while as a whole your body doesn't stress from how many calories it intakes in a single sitting one of the things that will happen and this can be confirmed by the doctor i had at the hospital is that when you intake a lot of calories from one sitting it actually puts stress on your gallbladder and by doing that over and over and over again you will start to develop gallstones and at the point i was at uh, he said that it, it, i was pretty much rotting away it, it any for any longer it's the obligatory if you waited any longer you might not be sitting here right now and it was kind of a slight wake-up call i've tried spreading out my calories throughout the day sadly i have been gaining some weight so it is going to be an adjusting period and this story actually was requested uh, this was requested in my facebook when people discovered why i had the gallstones and it was due to surprise rapid weight loss it goes to show that everything has to be done in moderation including weight loss a lot of people don't realize this but rapid weight loss is bad for you uh but it's also good for you and when a lot of people start their diets they have rapid weight loss and this is why i always suggest to my friends who want to lose weight that they get monitored by a doctor because you're going to have issues if you're morbidly obese like i am and you've lost a lot of weight, see a doctor. I think this is probably one of the only sound advice I can give legally. Make sure you're seeing your doctor regularly. Make sure you're seeing professionals regularly because when you're morbidly obese, you're going to have a lot more health issues. I'm not saying anything in regards to aesthetics. I'm not saying anything in regards to morals. I'm not saying whether it's right or wrong to be a big person or a small person. But what I am saying is, is that the stress on your body that comes with being so big that you're, that you're slowing everything else down and then all of a sudden zapping that away is going to put stress. So if you do want to lead a healthier lifestyle and potentially lose weight, again, two totally different subjects, so being healthy doesn't necessarily coincide with a body size, but being healthy going from not being healthy is going to have some growing pains with it. That being said, I highly recommend seeing a doctor, game monitored, and pretty much just watch what you eat. Watch your sugar intake, for instance. And it really doesn't matter what you eat. The way I lost weight, honestly, was just stopping. I reduced myself from around 4,500 calories a day to 1,900 calories a day. And that's how I dropped my first 100 pounds. Breaking that 300 pound barrier has been to be difficult, but obviously that's going to be content based more than likely. So yeah, that's my story. This is how I, you know, contracted gallstones from just trying to get healthy. I lost a ton of weight in a year and that put stress on my body. Coupling that with one meal a day, the gallbladder was just working double time and overtime and I wasn't compensating it right. And that led to a lull in my content production i couldn't stream for a few weeks after that because i had to recover and technically speaking i am still recovering but i've regained i'd say 99.99 percent of my strength at this point my scars have gone away i'm one i'm actually 100 percent at everything i just need to get back into the flow of things like going back to the gym 
rem going back to eat, being a healthier lifestyle because I was a you know I was in charge of eating a little bit more. I was in charge of trying to regain strength. So for those of you who are on a weight loss journey or just trying to get healthier, not necessarily trying to lose weight, bear in mind that you might have some speed bumps along the way, like developing gallstones, just because the rapid weight loss puts stress on your body. And all that food that was being intook now being out, again, puts stress on that gallbladder. So while the rest of the body will remain relatively unaffected, your gallbladder is one thing that you might need to monitor. So if there's one takeaway from this video, always consult your doctor before making any major life changes. And that this was just a very rare and odd occurrence that happened that I wanted to bring attention to because you don't hear it very often. In fact, most of the time, you hear people like, oh my God, I've done OMAD for like one or two years and it was amazing. I have lost all this weight, but they don't tell you about some of the other things they did. There's videos and pictures of people who've went from 500 pounds plus down to sub 200 pounds and they had to get cosmetic surgery to get rid of some of the loose skin. And that's not a choice because of aesthetics, but their circulatory system was stressing out because of that and they needed to get rid of it and that's not getting rid of all of it and there's some people that choose to stick with it and weight lift with it and lead completely healthy normal lives so this is just me sharing an odd story i know this isn't a format that is a custom on my channel as i normally review wads and do let's plays so there is going to be some gameplay in the background of some unidentified doom content but the links will be in the description down below as well as a link to my twitch channel twitch.tv backslash i underscore punch underscore demons because my name is eric and i punch demons see you next time